Good day, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about work done by a spring, mechanical spring. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Seven and one half foot pounds of work is required to compress a spring two inches from its natural length. Find the work required to compress an additional one half inch. Okay, so let's do it. Solution. Okay. We know work is given as integration f dx. In case of a spring, the force required to compress a spring is given by f is equal to kx. Now we know Uh, we know it takes 7.5 foot pounds of work, foot pounds of work, of work to compress a spring. A spring. So let me erase that and write it down. To compress a spring from zero position to two, two inches or two by twelve. Feet or one sixth feet. Hence, seven point five, which is the amount of work needed, is equal to from zero limits of integration are uh, from zero to one sixth. Okay, F is K X. Okay, kx dx, okay, which is uh, equal to kx square when we integrate kx square by 2 from 0 to 1 sixth, okay. So, and that is equal to k times one sixth square by two, which is K over 72. So basically we have an equation 7.5 is equal to K over 72. So multiply by 72 on both sides. To cancel the 72 in the denominator, in the right hand side, we get K is equal to 540. Okay. So now in part B, we are going to compress the spring an additional one half inch. So previously it was compressed. Uh, one sixth. Now we are compressed an additional one half inch. So let's uh, do it. Uh, we clear some space. So bind the work required to compression additional one half inch. Now, 
one half inch is equal to so if I give some small space. So half inch is uh, so half inch is equal to half inch by feet. There are twelve inches in a feet. So this inch and this inch cancels. Half inch is one over twenty four feet. Okay, so four over twenty one over twenty four feet, right? One over twenty four feet. Okay, so now we are going to compress that on top of the one six feet. So total compression now. Total compression is one sixth feet plus one over twenty four feet which is equal to one sixth can be written as four over 24. I multiply the numerator and denominator by six. Six times four is 24. So four times one is four plus one over 24 is equal to five over 24 feet. Okay, so the work done is, uh, I'll move this up. So the work done, work done to compress the pain. spring and additional half inch, half inch is is W is equal to my limits of integration. I'm going from <clears throat> I'm going from one sixth because I'm going from two inch position, which is one sixth of feet, to five over twenty four feet, and it is K x dx. Now I can write limits of integration from 1 6 to 5 over 24 for k. I can write 540 x dx. Okay. So this is equal to 540 by 2 x square from one sixth to five over should be five over twenty four five over twenty four those are the limits of integration okay so I have to use my calculator for that and let me create some more space so w is equal to w is equal to 270 times 5 over 24 square minus 1 sixth square. Okay. So I will use my calculator to do this calculation. So I will write equal to 270. I will find what is the value of 5 divided by 24 is 0 0.208 and I square it and that's point it is point zero four three point zero point zero four three minus one sixth square so one divided by six and then you square it is Point zero two seven. So the whole W becomes equal to 
270 multiplied by the difference 270.04. 0 0.043 minus 0 0.027 minus 0 0.027 and the answer is 4.32 feet pound 4.32 foot pound This is your answer. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll be back next time with another important problem, another important solution. Okay, take care. Have a nice day. See you next time. <laughs>